First thing first, please be aware that we at Dr. Fee are no financial advisor. This video is for entertainment purpose only. Here is a quick walkthrough how you create your own API key and API secret at MaxC in less than two minutes. First, we log into our MaxC account. Here we use the desktop version. As a second step, we click on the user center icon and select API. In the next step, and this is very important, we need to set the permission of the API. You can think of it as the requests that are allowed to be made through that API. We are going to use the API for Dr. Fee. Therefore, we are enabling the read-only permission and we do not grant any further permission besides read-only. Through this, Dr. Fee is able to read the historic trades made on the account and can thereby simulate the fee paid at different exchanges to identify the saving potentials but could of course not access any further data or execute trades or withdraw on the account. In order to enable analyzing the total value traded, we check mark all the read buttons. However, do not check any of the trade, withdraw or modify fields. Next, we give a name to the API key we are creating in the field note. You can choose whatever label you want for the API key. You may want to label it in a way that you know what the API key is used for. That's why in this example, we name it Dr. Fee. Because we're gonna use it at the Dr. Fee to compare how much fees we would have paid for our trade at different exchanges and identify whether there are saving potential for us. Due to the many different tiers and requirements at exchanges, it is extremely difficult to compare the fee levels. However, the fees itself differ greatly. Therefore, we want to regularly check whether we are open paying in fees or not given our trading volume, holdings, and trading style. And we can use this API key in the future again when reassessing our fee saving potentials. Lastly, Further below, we see that we can specify certain IP address that are allowed to access the API. In this case, we leave it to an unrestricted access by not typing in something in the optional field. We're nearly done. We can click the Create button, type in the code sent to your email as well as the second authentication form, and we have successfully created the API. We copy and pass the API key and API secret to the Dr. Fee website and can start the simulation. Make sure to copy and save the API secret before clicking confirm as you cannot access the API secret afterwards anymore and you will need to create a new API in case the information is lost. All right. If you like the quick walkthrough of how to find your API key and API secret and MaxC, please leave us a like and a follow to stay up to date with all the new analytics we are developing for crypto traders. There are many powerful analysis coming, so stay tuned. Mm -hmm.